guys welcome back and for those who are new here welcome to my channel my name is divya and i belong to a group called the storytellers pune as usual if you want to know more about them there's a link in the description below today i bring you a korean folk tale so once upon a time a young housewife was at her wits end her husband before the war used to be kind and gentle and loving but ever since he returned from the war He's been cross and angry and unpredictable so much so that she was afraid of living with him once in a while she used to catch this fleeting glance of the man he used to be before he left for the war whenever there was an ailment or any problem in the village the villagers used to rush to the hermit that lived in the mountains but not ju o oh. she prided in the way that she had a cure for everything but this she could not cure desperate she went to see the hermit finally when she reached the hermit's hut she saw that the door was open without turning the hermit said i hear you what is the problem she explained her situation his back still turning towards her he said Ah yes it is always that way when soldiers return from war What am i supposed to do Make me an amulet a potion or a drink anything to get my husband back to the way he used to be young woman Your problem doesn't exactly fall in the category of broken bone or ear problem I know It will take 3 days before I can look into the problem. So come then. 3 days later, Ju O returned to the hermit's hut. Ju O, I have found a potion that will restore your husband to his original ways. But I require a unusual and a new shawl ingredient. I require the whisker of a live tiger. What? Such a thing is impossible. I cannot make the potion without it. I have nothing more to say. You see, I am very busy. That night, Ju O tossed and turned. How would she get a whisker from a live tiger? Next day, she woke up before dawn. She took a bowl of rice, covered it with meat sauce, and walked towards the side of the mountain, towards the cave where the tiger was rumored to live. When she went there, very quietly, she set the bowl down on the grass. Then she made a clicking sound with her tongue, and very carefully, without stomping on any twig or leaf, she backed away and went home. Next day again before dawn she took a new fresh bowl of rice with meat sauce and went to the same spot there she saw that the previous bowl was empty she replaced the previous bowl and made a clicking sound and very quietly backed off this happened week after week she was very sure that the tiger was the one who was eating and emptying the bowl because she saw the tiger paw prints near the bowl and not that of any other smaller mountain animal after several months one day when she was keeping the bowl down she saw the head of the tiger peek out towards her from the cave she immediately looked down made the clicking noise and backed away slowly very afraid She returned the next day and she did the same thing day after day after day. One day she saw that the moment she was approaching the tiger had already come out of the cave listening to her footsteps. When she set down the bowl the tiger waited at a distance. She was very glad that the tiger was away from her. She made the clicking sound and quickly backed away. After several weeks, 
the tiger came closer. She could smell the tiger and she was very sure the tiger could smell her too. Quickly she looked up and she saw that the tiger is somewhat kitten-like and so friendly looking. Next day, she touched the tiger. The tiger allowed her to touch it and it purred softly like a house cat. She knew that her time had come. The next day, early in the morning, she left the house with a small sharp knife and the bowl of rice and meat sauce. This time when she kept the bowl of rice down, the tiger approached her and she said very softly, Oh my tiger, may I please have one of your whiskers? While petting the tiger with one hand, she gently held the base of the whisker and with the other hand, she swiftly chopped off the whisker. Then she got up slowly, muttered her thanks and left there for good. The next day was extremely long for her. Finally, when her husband left for the rice fields, she went rushing towards the hermit's house. She barged into the hermit's hut and said, I have it. You don't say. From a live tiger? Yes. Tell me, tell me. How did you do it? Tell me. You all explain to the hermit how for the past six months she patiently earned the trust of the tiger and finally how it permitted her to chop off a whisker. With pride she handed the whisker to the hermit. The hermit examined the whisker and when he was sure that this was the whisker of a live tiger, he tossed it into the fire where it burnt in an instant in a sizzle. What have you done? You, hmm? you don't need that whisker anymore. Tell me, dear, is there a man more vicious than a tiger? If a wild beast will respond to your gradual patient care, do you think a man will respond less willingly? Shu O was stunned. She was speechless. She slowly backed the trail and started walking towards her home in a daze, shuffling in her head the image of her husband and the tiger. Her husband and the tiger over and over and over again. She finally knew what she was supposed to do. She finally had the answer. So guys, this is a Korean tale called The Tiger's Whisker. I hope you like it. What I really like about this story is it so beautifully lays out the importance of patience and love and diligence. So out of my personal experience, I'm telling you guys this works. Now I'm not talking about abusive relationships. Those never work and you should not stay in an abusive relationship ever. Second chances do not work here. But when it comes to little things, I feel our generation has become extremely lazy. They would always work towards, they would always choose self-love over working towards a relationship. They think there are so many options, why invest so much in someone or something? But know this people, if there is something that is worth keeping, it requires effort and diligence and love. If you guys hold a different opinion than me, please leave it in the comment section below. I would love to read your comments. And please share this story with people who need to hear this story. And subscribe guys, what's wrong with you guys? Subscribe and I'll bring you more stories next week again. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.